Mbunani Dumelang and hello. Welcome to Sports Wrap on UJTV. Libiso Laka Kimpomela Lutamini and this is your number one sport of everything trending in the streets of sports. Well, make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms. We are UJTV on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter as well as UJ underscore sport on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Well, Use the hashtag sports rap. Guys, I'm never alone. The exciting part about the show, I'm never alone. On my left hand side, we have Mariwaka012, where the English goes. <laughs> we have Cody Lucky Mufuking. You, Jay Sheriff, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I am great, thank, thank you. you so much for having me again. I feel like this is this has become home now. I, I'm, I'm very Welcome happy. Welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> and on the far left, we have the social media and content creator manager, David, Mr. Barak, sir. Good morning, uh, guys, and to the viewers, a very good day to you. Thank and you for joining you? us. I'm okay, I'm okay. Uh, not a bad weekend, but we managed to, you know, sail through and we're here today. That's the most important thing. A hundred percent. I love it. Highlights of the week. It was a tough week, as you've just mentioned, but results, results, results. Yeah, I mean, every week we, you know, step out onto the field and, you know, we obviously um, encounter this and that. But for me, <clears throat> I think I'll probably uh, just dash out a few highlights. It would be the uh, under under 25 uh, women's wheelchair basketball championships that were held in uh, Bangkok, Thailand. Mm. Specifically, uh, because the South African team uh, <clears throat> had Michelle Mohanedi, which is a UJ student, you know. Uh, so once again, making international strides and representing I... the Orange Army. And I think uh, for me, the tournament is just about obviously the organization providing opportunities for basketball. Um, at least with uh, perhaps disabilities mm. here and there to be able to play. It's about growth and just seeing another UJ student on an international platform is a good thing. And yeah, I think uh, the second one would be Malawi for me, uh, winning the uh, Hollywood Bet Kosafa uh, uh, Championships for the first time ever. I think what makes it more outstanding is that in 2021, they lost to Tanzania in the finals. Mm. And looking at the game that they played against uh, Zambia, you know, which were, uh, were the defending champions, they, they really, they really came to, to the fight. And statistically, um, uh, uh, Malawi were a better team and the scoreboard reflected that, you know, mm. obviously going to extra time, but winning with a 2-1 score, for me, that's a highlight. Mm. The first time ever, and it's something to really ride home about. And correct me if I'm wrong, that second goal was scored in the 91st minute out of seven additional minutes. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> and I mean, yeah. it, it's very interesting as well because their second equalizer was denied, you know, after VR was uh, obviously uh, uh, stepped in. But mm -hmm. the, the fight stayed on and they, you know, they played uh, to the extra time, but... Definitely. The trophy is in Malawi. <laughs> <laughs> I, it sailed across Africa all the way to Malawi. Highlights? Um, I don't know. Hey, David is, is speaking international and he's going to Malawi and all of that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so I'm going to bring it home. I mean, everyone at the moment is probably talking about the rugby, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm sure that one is for everyone. Um, but for myself, it'll probably be the cricket in the World Cup um, beating Australia. Um, we know how we've always struggled against Australia at World Cups. And just in general, um, for us to go out at the World Cup and for Quinny to score runs, he's, he's a Joburg boy. So I'm celebrating him as a Joburg boy now. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, he's not a UJ boy, but he's a Joburg boy. He's part of us. Yeah. He's part of the, the army. So for him to go out there and, and put out the um, performance that he did, absolutely brilliant. Um, and my other highlights, I'm sticking to cricket. Yeah. It's the uh, UJ boys. Home is where the heart is. No, 100%. <laughs> no, I, I agree. No, absolutely, Lelo. So um, an, another highlight would be the result for this weekend uh, with the cricket boys. Um, I'm sure we'll get into that, but uh, they definitely put out a strong fight as well. I love it how you guys take it from local to international and back local is like. <laughs> Let's have a look at this week's results. And in this weekend's results, starting off with the ABC Mutipa League, unfortunately, the boys lost to Tembisa Sports three goals to two. And moving on to the Hollywood Bets Super League, the ladies suffered a 2-0 loss to TS Galaxy. A rather unfortunate result for the two soccer teams. Now moving over to cricket, where the UJ Premier League team thumped Kajiso by 114 runs and the UJ Premier B side did the same, thumping Jeppy by six wickets. 
absolutely proud of the boys and we look forward to them taking on the semi-finals that will be happening next year. And now over to FNL basketball that took place on Friday. And in the quarterfinals, the Orange Wave beat City Prime 57 to 30. And in the semifinal that took place on the same day, the Orange Wave beat TUT 53 to 47. And the Galaxies beat Vitz 43 to 29. Finals will be taking place on the 20th of October. And in the spirit of winning and great and amazing things, we have the Black Widow. I mean, the gentleman are producing results. It's the Cricket World Cup as well. Is there any relation you can actually see or maybe a pattern within, I mean, national players as well as local players? Um, speaking of that, actually, we, we've, got a, we've got a player in the, in the UJ setup who, you know, I, I just see a great future for him and he's, he's currently our captain. Uh, Kieran Krumi, you spoke about, do I see, you know, a link between the two? Yeah. Um, he's also just got himself a um, academy contract, which is a called um, just uh, below the professional level. But at, you know, the rate that he's going, the work rate and how he's been performing um, throughout the season, yeah. including last year, um, I actually see him probably making the Lions side and hopefully in the near future playing for the national country. So... Yeah, that's, that's the link I see between the two. Um, but just to talk about cricket, uh, <laughs> you know, you always say results, results, results. Um, again, results, results. I think in last week's episode, we spoke about um, them making the semifinals. Um, just to correct you, uh, or correct myself rather from last week, what happened is, yes, we, looking at the points table, we had made it, but we still had one more group uh, group game to, yeah. to go through. And the boys went to Cajiso. This is the premier A side. They went to Cajiso. Domination. Again, uh, they played against Cajiso in 20 overs. They scored 241 uh, for two wickets. Uh, Jared LaRue, who's one of our recruits for next year, scoring 107 of 54 balls. Um, mm. Massive strike rate of 100 uh, 198. And the Kieran Krumi that I spoke about, um, our captain at the moment, he scored 127, um, excuse me, he scored 104 for 104 and 45 balls. So they, they won by 114. So domination by the first team. They, you know, now they've cemented their spots in the semi final, um, which will take place next year. So I'm going to get back into that, you know, there's, there's just a lot. It's a very complicated <laughs> one. I know, you're looking at me and you, you look confused. So now I'm worried about the viewer. Yeah. Relax. <laughs> Let me explain to you sure. what's going to happen. So we've been playing 20 over cricket. Yeah. And now we're about to move into time cricket. Mm -hmm. So time cricket is a little bit different. It's not limited overs. It's timed. So yeah. you get to bat for a certain number of hours. Um, uh, three hours to bat. Mm -hmm. And then the other team gets three hours. That's how it works. So that's what we're going to be moving into with the cricket. We're moving away from limited overs into um, unlimited overs, time cricket. Um, and now what's going to happen is the two squads, the Prem A and the Prem B squads, will be integrated. And so what's going to happen now is it's going to be a matter of balancing uh, in terms of guys with the right temperament for T20 cricket and time cricket. Because remember, it's different. Yeah. T20, guys need to go quicker. Yeah. Um, time cricket... Guys need to go a little bit slower, a little bit more matured. So, you know, it's, 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 it's exciting times, um, exciting uh, with the bowlers that we have and all of that. And I think it's, it's, it's brilliant to, to going into tournaments at the end of the year, varsity tournaments. So, yeah, that's what's going to be happening now. Um, we will be moving from this week, we'll be moving from T20 cricket, uh, Black Widow, into um, time cricket. Time cricket. Yeah. 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 This is quite a very big shift. Yo. It's a big shift for Yo. those that do not follow cricket. <laughs> it's it's a little bit skeptical, man. It's 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 very it's very shaky. Yeah, no. Look, I think for those who don't follow cricket, they must get their pens and notebooks out right now <laughs> because. Even myself, I'm actually learning the difference right now, obviously, between the time cricket and the mm -hmm. T20. So it's very interesting, obviously, to have uh, such insight. But I think uh, to pick on your statement uh, you made earlier about uh, the union uh, and uh, the university having a relationship in terms mm -hmm. of uh, uh, building players, 
it's a very good thing knowing that you know if you get into U when you are in the UG system, you are potentially being scouted by you know uh, people mm -hmm. from the Lions for your next step in cricket. Mm -hmm. But also coming back to the league, I think it's a very good preparation. You know, um, knowing that the team is preparing for the University of South Africa uh, tournament in December in in Western Cape. So. Um, I think it will be more important when it comes to the squads integrating, you know, for the for the coach to be able to find the balance yeah. and take the best possible squad down uh, to the Cape to represent the team and hopefully, you know, the boys can continue on the, on the winning momentum uh, down there. I, I am a little bit, I'm, I'm very nervous because we've never tried this before and this is going to be our first game. How do you think this is going to go? Um, again, um, it's 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 a matter of trusting the process that mm. that that's been put in place, yeah. and I happened to have a conversation with Coach Sia uh, not so long ago, and we spoke about what his plans are in terms of going forward with uh, USA that David mentioned now. Um, coming from T Twenty cricket and going into time cricket, that's where the gents will have to find that balance. And whoever does it quicker mm. and the best yeah. will definitely book themselves a flight to Cape Town. <laughs> Say it a classic. <laughs> Friday night, Friday night lights. We have basketball and amazing. We're moving on to the final. Produced more results from the UJ side. I mean, we have Galaxy, we have Orange Wave, King. Guys. I think uh, perhaps one of the interesting things about UJ is there's always something happening. Yeah. You, you just need to find where you fit in. But I guess uh, a good run by the UJ basketball men and women's teams, you know, are to be obviously be able to, uh, you know, get through the, the the group stages and the playoffs and eventually make the finals, of which they'll be playing on Friday the 20th, you know, at Vest, uh, the whole 29. Uh, in my understanding, entrance is free, but I think, you know, the teams are doing fairly well for, for, for league. Also, similarly to them, actually, they are preparing for USA 3x3 basketball, which will be taking place in Rhodes in December. So, for UJ, there's only something happening. Just gotta find where you belong. <laughs> On our social is where we got you. Um, you know, we if if you don't if you're not a, a sports fanatic or you don't know a specific sport, um, it's a good thing that whenever you go on the socials, yeah. all you see is good results. Yeah. So, um, for 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 the basketball team, I know they're one of our best. They um, yeah. they they always bring results. They always bring medals as well. Yes, this year there was a little bit of competition in terms of everyone else, <laughs> you know, coming into yeah, you know yeah, being yeah. being part of this uh, uh, culture that we're building. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, with them again this weekend, brilliant results. Um, go on socials, you see a win. Um, you just get interested. You know, you click on that UJ basketball. So I think. All the athletes at UJ must just keep on doing what they're doing. Just keep winning and you'll get more followers and you'll get more fans. <laughs> Funny enough, we find ourselves in another final. <clears throat> ah. Another final. Another, another final. final. Two. Two, Two actually, two, yeah, yeah, yeah for both sides. Yeah. And I mean, I think, uh, you know, uh, for the record, the men's... <laughs> The men's, uh, you know, obviously high-performing squad are the defending and standing champions of Ooh. the varsity basketball uh, tournament. Obviously, there are complications here and there, tournaments mm. happening and being called off. But we, we, we are a competitive side overall and we have something to write home about or be proud of. So I think going to the finals next week, obviously looking at the results from the weekend, they do stand the chance, you know, if you watch the basketball team play, I think you get caught in the moment and you're thinking, yo, okay. <laughs> But I, I think we're going to do well on Friday. So on Friday, you must uh, you must pick your side. Are you going to watch basketball? Are you going to watch futsal at Soweto? So. And talking about futsal that was postponed this past week is taking place against Vitz this coming Friday. Joe McDevy, we are at the Soweto in our uh, indoor courts. Not too much to talk about, man. I think uh, it's just going to be an interesting game. So it will be very interesting for people to come through. Tickets are, will be sold at 15 rand. And... All you need is the support. Let's see, will it be the blues or the orange? Army? The orange. orange and we can strike the same team twice. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> many, many times. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay, gentlemen. Futsal is football. ABC Mutipe League. <laughs> Hollywood <laughs> Super League. It's this, the leagues. It's, it's Battle giving, of the leagues. It's giving Olostro, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you know a little bit of Olostro, but um, I mean we spoke about the the move, um, talking about foot the men's team, uh, the move that was made from 
you know, the league they were in and Varsity Sports into ABC Multiple League. Um, I think it's also just a matter of patience, um, waiting for them to... Um, I, don't, I, don't, it's, I don't think they're not getting the, the tempo and, and the temperament that the game is played at. It's just a matter of catching on and finally linking together and playing uh, the way we know them too. So um, it, it's, it's, it's all patience. And when, when the results start coming, uh, I think, you know, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a fun conversation again. <laughs> it will be a fun conversation. <laughs> yeah. But just a, just a quick update. It is a 3-2 loss yes. to um, the Tembisa yeah. sports. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I think... Third um, one. You see, the thing is for UJ, they are a team that is used to winning, you know. Mm. Uh, I'm not a flown team, but it is the truth. But now, the thing is, as a coach, when you catch, you know, uh, a different side of the results three, three, three times in a row, what do you say to the players, you know? Yeah. And, um, but I, I really believe that, um, you know, the team can do better, will do better. You know, we have actually come from back-to-back -back tournaments with minimal rest and having to come into the park and perform. And mm. we mustn't forget these uh, athletes are students. Mm. So when I when the student leaves the training session after two hours, they must go study, they must rest, you know, all this. And so it, it is a, it is a, there's a very uh, complications in between. But looking at the game, you know, UJ scored first, you know, and then we considered an equalizer. The, the opponent scored a, a lead goal, you know, and eventually um, we got two penalties in the second half. We committed one of the two, you know, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they caught us again in the last moment to make it, you know, a, a 3-2. So looking at the game and knowing that you had chances that you could have used, that's why you feel sorry for yourself. But like Cody says, uh, you know, lessons, the are better days. We just have to keep, uh, you know, obviously fighting and stay in the fight. And it doesn't make a difference whether it's 3-2. <laughs> Moral of the story is it's been 1-0 since the beginning. This is the third goal. Yeah, I mean, on the log, speaking technicalities, you know, that, it does contribute in a positive way because obviously we're keeping our goal difference down. And that by the time we actually start winning games and score more goals, it will help us because we won't need to score more goals to neutralize. We'll just pick up where we are and just move. So... Hey, Osele, David. Technicality. <laughs> I'm sorry, my man. <laughs> but on the, on the other side of things, we have the Hollywood's uh, Bet Super yeah. League, where we lost against the TS Galaxy Queens 2-0. On home soil. On home soil. On home soil. <sighs> Guys, um, we played TS Galaxy Queens in the first leg, uh, obviously, uh, just uh, in the first half of the year. We lost 2-1 away in Pumalanga. And... Playing at home, there's always an advantage, you know, as yeah. it is said, but I think <clears throat> it was just one of those games as well. First half, the ladies had many chances, not converted, and then where the opponents capitalize, unfortunately, that's how, it, that's how you lose the game, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, we've got three games left for the season for the girls, also building up to USA. So I think we just have to obviously, you know, really do the best we can to try finishing the best position possible and just, you know, uh, take it from there and prepare for, for prepare for the next tournament because looking at the log position and the results yeah <laughs> i'm worried <laughs> he's worrying me as well like, david please well you should be perhaps we are seventh on the log currently mm. uh we haven't won uh, the previous three games so if those were wins nine points we could be talking a different story oh interesting one and mm. Thinking about it, we come from the Hollywood beds, Kosafa, last week. Yeah. Semi-final was held, yes, um, final was held yesterday or yeah. two days ago. Then we jump straight into Hollywood's beds, Super League. Are the ladies rested enough? Um, as a professional athlete, I think it's a matter of managing yourself. Um, there's, there's, you know... Going at a higher level um, of the game comes with the responsibility of you taking care of your body, um, knowing um, how to manage it. Um, so it's, I, I, I don't necessarily think um, we can stress too much about the ladies not being rested. Yeah. I'm sure the ladies are very much aware of how to take care of their bodies and be fit for the next game day. So yeah, um, I think, I think it's, it's, it's okay. The worry might be, you know, with student athletes, because mm. uh, in class hey, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in terms of being athlete managing the body, uh, I think the ladies are managing that very well. 
A hundred percent. And we take that into consideration as well. Let's have a look at the upcoming fixtures. And coming up on the UJ Sports calendar, if you want to learn how to strap, do not worry. We'll be offering a basic sports strapping course that will be taking place tomorrow at the Afsalan Hall from 8.30 to 4 p.m. And moving over to basketball, the Galaxies and the Orange Wave will be taking part in the finals on Friday night at VIT. Moving over to futsal, it is going to be happening on Friday at Soweto Campus at 6 p.m. Tickets are 15 Rand and they will be sold at the venue. And finally, for the UJ Conference, it is the fourth hybrid UJ Sports Conference taking place on the 31st of October to the 1st of November. So please do save the date for that event. Please go on all our social media platforms. It is at UJ underscore sports. Women Crush Wednesdays. City, we give it to the ladies Springbok. I mean, think about it. The sevens team qualified. But not only that, we have alumni in the team. We have coaching and technical staff of part of the UJ team. David? Yeah, I mean, um, it's it's very great to see obviously the, the women's uh, sevens team qualify for Paris 2024. So we know a uh, on Sunday, it wasn't only about the Springboks men's mm. side, <laughs> but the women also performed. Looking uh, into the team, uh, we have uh, Maria Chiremba, who was a UG rugby club member, and then we she moved to the um, uh, Blue Bulls, uh, or they call them the Daisies, okay. the women's team, yeah. Uh, Ayanda Malinga was once a DJ as well, you know, a few years ago. She is in the seven squad. Mm. Uh, Tumero Liseke, she's the UG alumni. She was a team manager at UG rugby club, and she's with the uh, obvious national setup now for sevens. And uh, Mr. Oba King Molopiani was a sports scientist for UJ football and athletics. Mm. You know, so, I mean, we are definitely part of the team as a whole and also happy for the progress that the particular four individuals have made, obviously, from the Orange Army to the national setup. So, it's a good thing. Is there a woman crush out of that? I don't know. All of them. <laughs> All of them. You don't have to think. All of them. All of them. Do you believe me now when I say it's an institution of excellence? Oh, yes. Um, never doubted you, by the way. <laughs> um, so, yeah, That's a good I, I, yeah, I, I, a good I, do, I do believe that um, our ladies, um, like you always say, by a kagazel. Did I say it properly? Hey, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I, you know, it's. It's always good to see um, our ladies uh, representing at national level and, and doing so well. Um, I know, you know, women, sports for women is growing. Yeah. And to see UJ contributing to, to, to national teams and those particular ladies doing well in whatever sporting code they, they, they're involved in, it's, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. It's amazing. And close your remarks, gentlemen. Anything? I think uh, picking on the, the Women Crush Wednesday, I just want to uh, reach my hand back into the Kwasafa uh, <laughs> uh, 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 baguette. Yeah. For me, uh, Women Crush, I'll give it to Tsibili uh, Shamase, mm. obviously. Um, she scored uh, five goals in three games. You know, she scored a brace in the, uh, in the first game and a hat trick in the last game. Ooh. Imagine, three goals by herself. <laughs> but what stood out for me about her is on the uh, top goal scorer, the lead board, mm. she she finished obviously second position with five goals, and the leader uh, uh, was uh, had nine goals. I think it's a lady from uh, Zambia. Uh, I think the captain, if, I, if I'm correct. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> so, but for me to be a scoring five goals in three games and obviously finishing second on the uh, on the goals lead board. That's a very outstanding performance for me, uh, looking at how obviously those uh, points she scored contributed to the team's performance mm -hmm. overall. So, uh, and I think, yeah. And also she featured in the Kwasafa Dream Team, you know. Yes. So, um, once again, your efforts are definitely evident and you say just keep going. And they don't go unnoticed. Another fact, in case you didn't know, she scored five goals. She scored five, five goals. goals. Yeah. The entire tournament. Another five goals Another from the women. <laughs> you know, wait, Salah. Wait, Salah. Wait, Salah. <laughs> um, with my Women Crush Wednesday, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shift over to, to netball once again. Um, 
I think after the Boston Netball final, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's been a little bit of netball played here and there. Um, but uh, something that I actually saw is that the Proteas are preparing to go to Australia. Mm-hmm. And my crush goes out to one of our players, um, our goal defence. And uh, you know, um, we do Melo Matloko. She's, she's in that squad as well, um, preparing to go to Australia. Um, I'm absolutely proud of her. I'm happy for her. And... I'm a good boy, you know. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Yeah. So my crush Wednesday, we do melo. Go, go kill it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very, uh, thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining me today. And. Onwards and upwards from here. And to our viewers, thank you very much for joining us on today's show. Please make sure that you do interact with us on all our social media platforms. We are UJTV as well as UJ underscore sports on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. My name is Mpumela Lothamini. And until next time, City, hashtag sports rap. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.